Welcome to today's videos, my latest mum and teenage daughter chats. Now, I'm going to have to do this slightly quickly because Bridie is rushing to go to work, hence she's uh, looking, um, yeah, a bit made up today. This video is all about coping with exam day results, or rather, coping with uh, when you get your results that day, yeah. that's the day. Yeah, that's okay, it. which is very, very <laughs> relevant. Um, very, very relevant because the A-level exam results are due out tomorrow, which is Thursday, and GCSE exam res results are due out the following Thursday, which is the 21st of August, okay? Tomorrow being the, what's the date tomorrow? Imprinted on your brain. 14th of August. Well, Bridie, just talk a little bit about exams, how you feel about exams. You're not the most natural person for taking um, exams, are you? No, I, don't, I, I really don't get on with exams. I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody likes exams, but I really, but I, I panic quite a lot um, in sort of exam pressures and I've always preferred coursework because um, yeah. you, you have more time to like perform to the best of your ability. Yeah. I don't work well under pressure, so yeah. But you, you do well in your coursework, so goodness that thank goodness that nowadays you have coursework mm. as well. Certainly yeah. when I was doing my A levels we, there wasn't such a thing as coursework. So are you one of those people, although you panic when you're doing your exams, do you panic about your exams after you've taken them? After? No. no. I literally hardly ever think about it. I mean like obviously it crosses my mind and I'm like oh, I've got my exam results coming out, but I don't think there's any point worrying about yeah. it because it's done and, like, I, I can't, I don't even think about it. I'm just like, okay, what's done's done. Yeah. It's out of my control now. Having said that, it's perfectly normal to worry about your exam results once they're done and, it, mm. and I would have the tendency to worry, being quite a, a worrier. But it's true, you can't do anything now, it has been done and it is good if uh, hopefully you've been able to give yourselves a bit of space between your exams and now and that you've had a chance to have some fun times as well. Now exam results day tomorrow, now I think officially the results come out at 8am and some schools you can go in earlier than that. Uh, at Bridie School we can't pick up results until 8am. So I'm going to make sure that we have got petrol in the car and that we have got, um, I think they do say it's a good idea to have a notepad and a pen with you. But the other kind of bits of information you need to make sure you have is your UCAS number, etc. That's only for if you're going into clearing. Oh, right, that's what you I don't was actually yeah. you don't actually need it um, if you're not. Right, that's very <laughs> true actually because if you've applied for a university and you've been successful with your grades, they'll let you know even before you go to get your grades whether or not you've got a place. Okay. If you've got an offer. If you've got your offer has been accepted, thank you. But you'll obviously want to go in and see what your grades are anyway. Um, if you're pretty close with your grades, do ring up your university as well and see if they're still prepared to offer you a place. Yeah, sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. Now, Bridie, being Bridie, has gone round everything back to front and she went off to visit universities. She had some pretty good offers and then changed her mind and decided she didn't want to do that course after all and that she now wants to do a vocational course. So... In some ways, that was like, oh my goodness, what have, what have you decided here, daughter? Mm. But having said that, better to do that now than when you actually start your course. Yeah. So basically, you're going to go through clearing because the course you want to do has already been offered on clearing, hasn't it? Yeah. So would you just like to go through the process of going through clearing? Yeah. Um, if you're thinking about going into clearing, um, well, you should probably already thought about it, but um, some universities put up before results day um, what courses in their university have gone into clearing, and then what happens is on results day you call up and you're like, um, this is what I got, this is who I am, please have me on your course, and then they offer you a place over the phone. I think it has to go through somebody else before they offer you the place. I don't know, yeah. it's probably different for different universities. Different universities, really okay. know about one, so But just like, make sure you've got all your information, you've got all your details, your phone number's there, and you're ready to ring. Mm -hmm. Now, they don't actually officially offer your place until 5 p.m., so you can't no, accept your place you accept until it. 5 p.m. This is something we learnt really recently. That's in case you suddenly panic and say, yes, I'm going to go there, 
and accept an offer, it gives you a few hours, a good few hours to think about it. So at 5 p.m., if you want to offer a place, you need to make sure you're in the right place to accept the offer. Yeah. Yeah. So have your plan A, have your plan B. Also, please remember things, you know, you can work really, really hard and you don't get the grades that you were hoping for. Things can go wrong. Honestly, it's not going to be the end. There will be other things that you can do. Don't we worry We promise about you, them. please don't worry about don't it. Worry about and all the best. Lots and lots Good luck. of luck and love. Now, I'd like to do another video and I talked to you about, about talking about boys, haven't I? Yeah, I, th I think that would be funny because we had the funniest conversation about boys on the train the other day coming back from Bournemouth. What do you think? Okay.